So this is just a moth that we saw flying around a day or two ago in our utility room. He is just the most incredible moth I've ever seen. He's about three quarters of an inch long. He's got these aqua green wings. Uh, and on the camera, it's looking pretty green, but on in with my eyes, he looks more aqua. And I, he looks like he's got two lettuce leaves pasted onto his back. Yesterday, he was flying around and we couldn't catch him still. Now he's being still. I really wish I could catch him and take him outside because he's not going to survive indefinitely inside this um, inside of my utility room. I actually opened the door at one point and tried to get him out, but he didn't go. Anyway, I just think he's just incredible. I've just never seen a moth like this before. Most of them are just boring brown or a little gray or has some stripes, but I have no idea about what kind of moth he is. So, All right, well, this is my moth video, and um, he's still sitting right here. He's got that one little wing. Ooh, he kind of, ooh, that was interesting. <laughs> About the time I start to stop these videos, something happens. Or right after I turn it off, you know, something happens. As you can see, he kind of strut around. Now he put his other little arm thing. I don't know if that's an arm thing that's sticking out the side. I think it is. Wow, he kind of flopped around there for a minute. Okay, well, I'm in a... Whoop. I'm in a bad angle. That's why I'm kind of jerking around. Normally, I do a fairly good job of recording, but I'm actually kind of bent over. I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. So, anyway, he is great. He is just great. I would like to take him outside and free him, but I tried that yesterday to catch him, but it didn't work. Well, I got the moth outside. <laughs> jar yep i got him in a jar and he won't come out i don't know how to get him out i don't want to hurt him i saved him for a reason and i can't get him out of the jar all right this is my word okay all right there he is look how pretty he is now he spread his lit aren't lit i thought that was his wings but that's actually part of his collar yeah oh sorry not recording him very well. Yeah. I thought that was his whole wing, but actually that color's just on his wing. He's kind of, look at his little antenna things. They're just shaking up a storm. I don't know if I can, look at his little antenna wings are shaking. He's pretty scared to death. I'm scaring him to death. Well, I'm trying to save him. I'm going to, I'm going to put him, I don't know where to put him. <laughs> I just get him over there. I don't know where to put him. Well, I'll put him right here. Got a pot plant up there. He's shaking up a storm. Yeah, I thought those were... I thought those were separate wings. But actually, those are... On his little skin, so... Maybe I'll just kind of cover him up with a leaf or something. Just so, you know, if there's some bat out here or something, it won't get him. Something that won't crush him. See, he's in there now. He's got kind of a little cave. Well, I don't know. I don't know. There may be something wrong with this moth, so. I bet you moving around there. A lot of trouble to save a moth, huh? <laughs> I'm like that. I come up with some crazy stuff sometimes. Yeah, okay. Well, I made him a little nest. Hopefully, nobody would see him. He quit shaking, so that's a good sign. But I wish he would go do something. Well, I'm going to cover him up. Now he's shaking again. I'm scaring him, probably. Okay, well, he's out of the jar. I can take this jelly jar back in the house and wash it. And I think he's relatively safe. I can't be totally responsible for him. My son came out here. And uh, 
We couldn't get him to come out of the jar, so. All right, well, there he is inside of the little nest I made him. Where is he? Can't see. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Yeah, he's in the little nest. Yeah, well, I hope he's okay. I've done my best to save him and I can't be held responsible. No, I cannot be held responsible for this moth. I looked at 400 and something Texas moths on, um, I think it was identify the butterfly.org or identify a butterfly. Now, as far as I can tell, he's a moth. He's not a butterfly. I mean, I'm not a moth expert, but I'm pretty sure he's, um, he's a moth. He's not a butterfly, but anyway, I didn't see anything that looked too much like him. I did see a few with, uh, um, uh, that color wing, you know, gray or blue, but I didn't see anything that I thought looked like him. I'm going to go back and look again, though, because I actually thought that the little color of his wing was, I thought it was his, um, actual wing, but it's actually like, uh, you know, it's like, what? Well, it's built into his wing because it's the color, but it's separate. I mean... No, it's not separate. I mean, it's, uh, it's, his wing just has a coloration area on it, is what I'm trying to say. Initially, I thought the colored part was his actual wings, but anyway. All right, well, this is all of the fabulous moth video. I've done my good deed for a day, saving the life of a moth, I hope. And, uh, well, I guess I better cover him up a little bit better. Ugh. That way, any bats won't get him. So, there he is. You can see the tail end of him. All right, well, that's all my video. Hope you enjoyed watching.